dads will ruin the happiest place on earth. Yes, they will. <laughs> If you let them, I want to make sure that people don't ever think that I'm like, men are the reason for everything sucky. Because that's not true. Patriarchy is the main culprit here. And women are, we are performing for patriarchy too. And while I am never going to be on here blaming the victim, okay? Especially as a domestic violence survivor, um, childhood SA, stalking, all that stuff. I'm never going to be like, it's your fault. You made this happen to you. But I also want to acknowledge that patriarchy and also all the systems, right? You can't just fight one, you gotta fight all of them. Patriarchy, white supremacy, capitalism, all of these are tied together. They all hinge on each other. They need each other to survive. And that a lot of the behavior of myself and a lot of women is that we enable the king baby and we let them do this to us. And a lot of times it's because that was what was role modeled with our father. We don't realize that, we, that it can be any other way. Now again, I am not talking about like straight up abusive relationship, but I will want to say want to say that for instance, my father used to say really inappropriate stuff, not just to me, but to my friends. And when one of my friends was on family vacation, she made a, you know, she was like, "Okay, I'll be ready for dinner. I got to go shower." And he goes, "Can I come?" And she was like, "Ha, like she <laughs> she has a dad a lot like him, so she knows how to handle men like him." She was like, that's inappropriate and just kept walking. So I looked at him and I was like, hey, you can't say stuff like that to my friends. And he was like, well, I'm your dad. I can say whatever I want. And I'm like, that is true. You can say it's a free country. You can say whatever you want. But if you say stuff like that to my friends, it's going to make me not want to bring my friends. And it's also going to make me not want to come. So if you don't want me to come and hang out with you on family vacation, don't say that stuff. And he goes, Oh, <laughs> game over. He never did it again. Never. It was as if for the first time in his life, he had seen that I am an adult and I'm going to speak to him eyeball to eyeball. And I'm not mad. I'm not like, you know, I'm not coming from the like, please don't do that, daddy. And I'm not coming from a teenager like, Wah! I'm calm, cool, collective and saying, you can do what you want, but the consequence is bleh. And he wanted to see me. He wanted to hang out with me. And, you know, just like in all my experience dealing with, you know, teenagers and children and all the jobs that I did leading them in the wilderness, the bullies, once they realize that they can't bully anymore or there are consequences, either find someone new or they, they stop. They stop doing it to you, at least. So what I want to talk about on my page is not just inform women of all the ways that men are doing this crap and we shouldn't be enabling it. But I want to show alternatives to dealing with these men.